Governor Greg Abbott threatened to keep calling special sessions until House lawmakers pass school voucher legislation. The governor's comments came as a House committee approved the new joint bill that bundles school funding increases and vouchers. But there are still signs the legislation has a lot to overcome to make it pass Democrats and rural Republicans in the House. Fox Sports' Blake Hansen has more on today's developments. Blake. And Steve, the legislation advancing today uh, addresses both school funding and vouchers. Educators groups are telling lawmakers while they do need the money, they don't if it means vouchers. There being 10 eyes, four nays, the motion prevails. School voucher legislation appears headed for its first House floor vote. It's after a bill that both raises school funding and creates a voucher program passed a House committee along party lines early Friday. It followed a marathon of testimony Thursday where the voucher part faced pushback and not just from Democrats. So I don't believe the people passed District 88 want it because there's no chance in hell any voucher helps one student in House District 88. Not going to happen. School vouchers have been a priority for Governor Abbott going back to the regular session. Supporters argue it gives students and parents more choice, setting aside money per students for private school expenses. But rural Republicans say it doesn't help their districts, where private schools aren't accessible. And other critics say it'll move money away from public education. I believe that the, that the long-term detrimental impact to the institution of educating all children in Texas is sincerely at risk if we go down this path. Governor Abbott has been reluctant to let lawmakers tackle school funding or teacher pay until they pass vouchers. But this time around, the bill wraps funding and vouchers together, a move that has irked some public school organizations. I have found it extremely offensive and, in, and disingenuous to even have a discussion on this as a policy matter because of this thing hanging over our head about if you don't do this, you're not going to get a dime. This legislation is going to benefit the voters and the, the residents uh, in each of uh, the House members' districts. At an unrelated bill signing Friday, Governor Abbott was asked what he would do if the House sends him the bill but strips out vouchers. If it did, of course, I would just have to veto it. We would start all over again. We'd be, we'd be spending uh, December here, maybe January here, maybe February here. And I know one thing about both the House and Senate, they want to get out of here. The House did not have a quorum when it met today, so House Speaker Dade Phelan says they will be back at work tomorrow. It's still unclear when a debate and a vote might happen on the legislation and also whether there might be additional changes.